is not a simple phenomenon. It is developing through stages that we can distinguish, and within each stage, certain actions need to be taken to prevent its devastating impacts. However, until now, drought was managed reactively only when the damages already occurred. Stress and chaos dominated all actions that were taken to cover for the losses. The knowledge on drought management is available to us. Some instruments exist on a national level, but we haven't yet had the tools on a regional or cross-border level to help us deal with the situation proactively. The Dry Danube project has brought such new instruments. They will detect drought development in near real time and define responsibilities for action during each drought stage. DroughtWatch is a very user-friendly tool that shows a couple of new and innovative data sets. It shows, for example, traditional meteorological data along with satellite data. The satellite data are coming from the European Copernicus program, which give us now the capability to observe Europe almost on a daily basis at very high resolution. So it now gives us the tool for understanding drought conditions on a very fine local scale. It was designed to be user-friendly with several tools to support examining, viewing and browsing through the datasets that are specifically related to drought. On the ground drought impact assessments that are done through networks of drought impacts reporters will complement and validate available data in DroughtWatch. The reporters are engaged individuals who report their observations on a weekly basis via simple questionnaires on the state of soil and vegetation in the field. Processed data on drought impacts are then seen in DroughtWatch. During the last year, the National Reporting Network in 10 countries of the Danube region has reached over 1,000 of registered reporters with 800 reporters active in each week. Together with reporters, we are creating a very strong, powerful information connected to place and time, and we are able to create a group of people with very strong voice. We are very happy and uh, proud uh, that we have established uh, Drought Reporting Network in Croatia in such a short period. It uh, brings a new moment in the detection of drought uh, with direct collaboration between experts and the general public. We offer drought insurance products and since this platform is available we have a daily overview about drought situation in a very perfect scale. So we can identify drought regions in every part of the European Union and that's perfect for us. Once we know the actual stage of drought, a common understanding of responsibilities is required in order to act appropriately within each drought stage. This is when a strategy is needed to give clear guidance on how to proceed. To improve institutional capacity in the Danube region, we created so-called optimal drought management model it somehow suggests how we could behave during the drought periods or before drought periods and clearly defines who is doing what, when and how. We have connected work of the institutions in the region with the drought stages. In the first stage, there are first signals of the drought on the ground. Usually, people, they don't detect this stage. In the second stage, we have first signs of the drought on the plants, and we are speaking about drought stress. And finally, what we don't want to reach is the alarm. So there is drought in the country, and the reaction is already too late. We need to clearly define responsibilities from the monitoring to management, a warning and announcement and that we really know who is responsible for what. So it's really important that this model is reflected in the national legislations. Due to the ongoing work of projects such as the Dree Danube uh, project, we are now having an increased and very useful knowledge base as regards drought management in place. And this is for us in the International Commission for the Protection of the Danube River of great value to foster regional cooperation on droughts in the Danube River Basin in the future. Our main aim is to be able to detect every particular stage of drought development, especially the early stages, 
so that we are active in becoming better prepared even when there is no drought in the country.